Good afternoon, friends. This is Sergey Kromchenko from Los Angeles, California. Currently, I work as an engineering manager of SDAT. I've been in UK for more than eight years, but today we're going to discuss money, specifically QA salaries, benefits such as annual bonuses, free food, free gym membership, discounted dental and medical insurances, and other perks. And also, by the end of our video, I'm going to share why do I prefer to work for a com small companies rather than a big ones. Let's go! How much money can QA earn? All right, now let's talk about salaries. So, manual QA test salary in the United States. The average is about 60000 I kind of do agree that's about an average. Uh, but you can really grow in, you can really grow to about a hundred plus thousand dollars and whenever you become a senior man, even a senior manual tester, you can make up to 130,000. That's the best of what I know because one of my friends did get that much money as the QA engineer. Okay, next one is the QA automation engineer. Uh, looks like the average is about 88, 90,000 and I kind of do agree. Most of our students get about $80,000 as their first job, but some of them get 60, some get them 100 plus. It all depends on your skill level and your personality and just the luck. Okay, senior QA automation engineer. As you can see, average is $112,000. But to be honest, that's not necessarily California average, that's the US average. In California, the average would be about $120,000, $125,000 for a senior QA automation engineer. QA manager salary. So by looking at this table, you can see that average is 107,000. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think the average of the QA manager salary should be approximately 115, $120,000. And it can grow up to 180, even 200 in some cases. QA director salaries. Whenever you become a QA director, you can earn much more. So QA director is pretty much a top of the QA path and then you have to switch somewhere else. So the QA director makes, makes an average $148,000, which is quite awesome. And I do know in fact that other people can make more than $215,000 as the QA director. All right, let's take a look at the numbers of years on a job for the QA engineers. As you can see, most of people on a market are new. They either have less than a year of experience or from one to two years of experience. And that comes from the booming industry because we have so many companies that are looking for QA engineers, the demand is high, and that's why there are so many schools that can prepare you or not for the job. Where do software QA engineers earn the most? As you can see on this map, it's pretty much the same as in our spheres. Most of money can be made either in California or in New York and states relative to them. Also, few states on the Midwest are kind of highly paid as well, but mostly it's about California and New York. Where are the software quality assurance people located? Well, it's kind of throughout the United States, but same thing as with the high, highest paying salaries. It's mostly relatively close to California and in New York as well. But it looks like Miami is another good hub for the QA engineers. Where the software quality assurance in a, is in high demand? Nothing is new here. It's all about the big cities. The biggest ones are New York, Los Angeles, Washington, etc. You can see all the other ones like San Francisco, Phoenix, Arizona, Chicago, Miami and others. Talking about salaries, you guys can actually influence the main digit on the offer letter in many ways. You can show your skills, you can show your desire to work and learn. You can get an extra offer from a different company and negotiate both. My first salary seven years ago was $70,000, but then I got a counter offer from a different company for $80,000 and my company didn't want to let me go, so they raised my salary and made it work. That's how it works. If you're a great specialist with a kind of easygoing personality, I'm sure you will kill it. Plus, let me warm you up with some extras that you pretty much always get from any company. Number one is the health insurance. Can you buy good health insurance now yourself? Most likely not. 
the way I couldn't seven years ago. But working for an IT company gives you some juicy privileges, which is so important. Just count how much money you can save on not paying for health insurance. Vision. How about dental? That's quite a bit of money, right? I will tell you that usually companies cover most of your insurance, even my wife's insurance, and in some cases, even a dog's insurance. There is a huge saving for your family. Okay, next. 10 to 15% annual bonus. How about that? You can count it as, for example, if you make $80,000 per year and you have a 10% bonus at the end of the year, you get $8,000 as a New Year celebration present. How about that? Free food. I worked in office and I remember we had a buffet, which was my favorite. Free breakfast, lunch, snacks throughout the day, no issues at all. I remember these days and my favorite ice cream. God. Gym membership. Of course, after homemade ice cream, you, you gotta go to a gym. Some companies will pay your full membership. Some companies will only cover the part of it. Any case, it's quite awesome. Aside of that, if you work for a company and you don't have a green card, and if you're a qualified specialist, a lot of them might cover it for you and apply for your citizenship. That's another extra point. And one of the biggest ones is the salary raises every year. You know, in different companies, it can be from 3 to 6%, in some companies even more. It's all depend on a company. And also, every startup or a big company will have their own cool things. For example, Apple gives you 25% off of the, all of their products, which is quite awesome. I'm pretty happy with all of that, but as everyone, I do love when the salary gets raised. All right, I did promise to tell you why I don't like to work for big companies. Here we go. A few real, really helpful tips. Number one is bureaucracy. In order to make a step aside, you have to go through so much paperwork and questions. Number two, no freedom of action. In any big company, you will do the job you've been assigned to. You will not be able to wear different hats, meaning you will have to stick to the same job. And number three, no professional growth. By working as a developer in a corporation like Google or any others, you will never become a manager because you are an engineer and those are different things for the big companies. Do you want to grow fast in a company and earn more money? Then just don't choose the big names. I've been there and I pers personally don't really like it. Well, let's look more closer here. Actually, it might work for some of you if you like to come to work and do the same job day to day. But if you know you're going to be super bored of this, if you like to jump from project to project and learn new things and grow professionally, then you might be better off working for a startup. First, they have money and they could give you more than a big companies. You can be the first QA in a company which means you can grow into a management position from there. And that might be very quick, depend, depending on how fast your company is growing. But, but if you compare it to a big company where you will work for five to 10 years and you will still be the same QA engineer, that sucks, right? Here's what startup life looks like. You'll have a freedom in action. You can create and suggest your own ideas. It's, isn't it nice, right? Also, you have a chance to switch to development or product, product management if you feel like it better. I bet right now it's clear that you prefer startups. I worked for Verizon and I didn't really enjoy the job. I, did, I didn't feel like I belonged there and they really need me as a professional. Yes, it sounds really cool. I work for Google, I work for Tesla, I work for Apple, but that's pretty much it. We've made it. Now you know how much QA makes and what benefits can you get as the QA engineer. But if you want to learn more about cutting edge QA technologies, I'm going to leave a link right there in the description below. Feel free to follow it to our Telegram channel. I also want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a big fat thumb up and I'll see you next time.